Hello everyone, welcome to our first virtual lab on Hake HMS. So this week we spend a lot of time talking about base flow. So this lab is going to be on using the recession method in Hake HMS to simulate base flow. So the link for the tutorial is given to you um, and the Hake HMS version that I used to create this tutorial is 4.3. Um, you can download it freely from the link that I have given you here. Um, in order to install the software you need to have administrative access. If not, there is also a portable version available that you can download and use without uh, any administrative access. So with all my labs, I won't be doing the lab you will download the lab on your own and the instructions are detailed enough for you to be able to finish it. Um, if you have any problems, you can always contact me by email. But before you get started on the lab, I just want to give you a brief overview of what recession method is and how it, how it simulates base flow in Hake HMS. So with that, let me open my... So until now, in all our labs, when we simulated the stream flow, we actually got direct runoff. We never included base flow in our simulations. So if you remember, most of our simulations, they look something like this. So the, the, the peak was higher and the the rising and falling limb were sort of steeper and if you remember the lab that we did for Fish Creek the observed hydrograph looks something like this right and many of you had problem simulating this part so you were able to match the peak and the time to peak but the, the falling limb, you had difficulty simulating that. Um, some of you were able to do that by adjusting the lag time. But I, if you can incorporate base flow, that may be a, a way to do it. So the base flow method that we are going to use is called recession method. And the equation for that is Q equals to Q naught K to the power of T. Because we use Q for stream flow and direct runoff, I'm just going to call this as B equals to B naught K to the power of T. So what this does is it simulates this graph like this. So B is base flow at any time. So this is our T. So that's the T here. So this is B naught. Oh, that's B for any given time. And your initial base flow that you specify will be B naught and K is called recession constant. And it has a value of less than one. So it's a non-zero value, but it has to be less than one. So the, the curve goes down as the time passes. Now, depending on the value of k, if k is equal to 1, which means there is no recession, so this is what you will get. As k gets nearer to 0, you will get a faster recession, so k close to 0. And anywhere in between, depending on what value you pick, it will be either horizontal if it is k, if k equals to 1. As you decrease the value of k, you will see the, the recession curve going down. Now, so this is what this equation does. Okay. 
so it can only simulate this curve okay now if you remember when we discussed base flow I'm going to draw this diagram here again so QT this is our direct runoff okay and base flow even though it starts like this eventually at some point it increases and it becomes higher than the actual direct runoff so we discussed about this inflection point so the equation that I showed you and the way it works it was only simulating this part it was not simulating this part then you may ask how do we do that if if the equation that I just showed you was not simulating so Hake HMS has an option to specify the inflection point on the falling recession limb and I'm not going to tell you which parameter does that but uh, Hake HMS does have an option for you to specify this point and what Hake HMS does is depending on the initial flow you specify initial base flow you specify it will start like this going down depending on what value you use for k and then depending on where you specify your inflection point on the recession curve what it will do is it will then jump to this point and then it will use the same equation to to simulate this falling limb so the red line that you see here is how Hake HMS will simulate your base flow depending on the initial value you provide the slope of this recession curve will depend on the value of k you specify and then there is another parameter where you can specify this inflection point so I think this is all you need to know to to do this lab and hopefully you should be able to finish that lab without any problem if you have any problem email me and all the best with your lab thank you and i will see you in the next clip bye